Today I'm going to show you how to wire in your Harbor Freight TIG welder. Uh, I have the 98233 which uses a 50 amp plug into my Harbor Freight generator. I know there's not a lot of videos out there showing you how to do this so let me show you what to do. Okay this is the connector that I picked up at Lowe's. It was $19. Uh, it's a 30 amp L14 and it basically looks like this. And this is the plug that is on the generator. Now, since I'm never going to use my generator inside and I don't really care about the plug, I cut it completely off, but I left myself a little bit in case I ever have to throw it back together. Now, that's a 50 amp connector, and a lot of people are saying, well, you know, this is a 30 amp connector here. And when you see the wiring inside, you'll understand why um, 30 amps is going to be plenty. Now, here's my generator. I have the Chicago Electric. It does have the 220 twist lock connector and basically I pre prep this wire for you I'm gonna just balance my phone here and I pre prep the wire so basically inside that wire you have white black and green now the white and the black are your two hots and your green is gonna be your ground now in regular 120 the white is your neutral but in this case it's gonna become our hot now on this connector, you'll see that you have a green, and then they mark them out with an X, and a W, and a Y. Now, the W um, is not going to be used. So when we wire this, we're only going to be wiring the green. And what I did here, if you look at this wire, it's very thin. It's only about 12 gauge, but it's in a 3 8 housing. Now that's kind of funny because they're saying 50 amp, but this wire isn't capable of handling 50 amp. I always tin my ends a little bit with a little bit of solder just to make sure that when they uh, screw in, they're going to clamp in. And basically you're just going to go ahead and put your green to your green. You're going to put your white to your X and you're going to put your black uh, to your uh, Y and the W is not used that's your neutral in this situation all right okay so now that we have it wired green to green i've used the white to the x and the black to the y on this connector now if we look at the generator we'll see that 240 hots are here so when we put this in this is the ground here these are your hots so when we line this up to check it, we will see that we got exactly that. Two hots and a ground. Now this is your $19 solution to a $100 cable. Uh, from there, uh, notice it's going to be perfectly uh, set for the, uh, for the collet that's going to go over the top of it in a few moments. And I will show you a picture of that in a few moments. Okay, there we have the finished connector. Now, if you notice how far away I am from that welder, this is about a 10-foot cord, and I was going to chop it a little bit shorter, but I decided not to um, because I don't think it's going to be pulling more than 20 amps. Um, and I don't really go over 125 anyways, and I could run the generator outside. So as you see, it's a direct connection now, and you can put it in and twist lock, and there you have it. Um, very, very simple, very, very inexpensive. Um, I used a Legrand connector, and that's uh, L1430P CCV3 is the part number from Lowe's. And this was $19 uh, in tax, where here in Connecticut we're at 6%, so it was $21. Not a bad, uh, not a bad deal for uh, getting this connected. And again, since I'm never, ever going to use this welder indoors or anywhere really else and I don't have 220 in my garage this connector was no longer needed um, over engineered uh, for the wiring that's used very very thin wiring in there I don't know if you can get a get a view of that I don't think you can because my camera isn't focusing well so now that we have this hooked up we're gonna go ahead and test it out so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure the welder is in the off position which it is and we're going to insert the twist lock in. 
and turn it to the right until it locks into place. Now once I start this, it's going to be pretty loud in here, so you're not going to be able to hear me, but you'll be able to watch the rest of the video and see that it actually does work. So let's start up the generator and then we'll check the welder for operation. Okay, as you can see, it worked perfectly. So that's the uh, the final product right there. Uh, no need to go out and spend $109 on eBay or $80 on eBay. Uh, you can, however, um, not have to cut your cable if you don't want to cut it. You could simply wire it with a uh, 50, uh, 50 amp uh, 6 series, I think, and uh, you should be fine. Um, but it works, uh, and it doesn't really put any load although I didn't weld when I first turned it on and first energized it the generator uh, did indicate that there was a little bit of an amp draw there for a moment but then of course after it stabilized there was no problem at all so there's my solution there's my TIG rig um, and uh, very very simple